That painting is eight feet square. It is huge. And I did that painting, I believe, in the late 90s. And to do the painting, I needed a ladder up and down uh, on the ladder uh, doing the work. It took an awful lot of energy and physical strength to work on paintings of that size. When working on paintings of that size, I, I work on small things at the same time. And that is because physically you need to do that in order not to overtax certain parts of your body. And when you're making those marks, that pincer line, by the way, that painting is done with pastel pencil. It's a drawing on canvas. I call them paintings, but it's a drawing on canvas. And when you do that kind of really intense work, uh, it begins to really pull on, on certain parts of your body, you know, your back or your neck or your arm. So that's the physicality of doing that work, but that work is also very Zen meditative. When I'm making these paintings, I can get into two different states of mind. One is where I'm very aware of everything around me. Every sound, every mark, sound that the mark makes, every sound of anything in the room or the environment. The sound that the mark makes becomes a mantra, just repeated over and over. And you can get into the kind of state of mind where it's free flowing, the thoughts are. There's a black painting that I still have and when I was working on that painting, I began to think about what a museum would look like and be like. And really, before that painting was finished, I had in my mind the vision of this museum and its mission and why, and the various departments. And I did, I haven't talked about that before. You really pull things out of me, don't you? Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. That's awesome. Yeah.